Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we're going to be going over the Pebble 2.0 app, how it looks, how it feels, if this is a step in the right direction, and if you should really consider buying a Pebble now because of this. Now with the new Pebble app, you do have uh, some nice new watch faces, and overall this app is designed to make everything easier to find. And this is obviously a step in the right direction because when you search for Pebble apps on the Google Play Store, they're very scattered. And considering there's over a thousand uh, apps and watch faces combined now, uh, it really is a lot to go through. So it's nice that on the left side right here, you have my Pebble. Um, these are all of the ones that are currently on it. So you the faces that are on it as well as the apps. And then you have watch faces and a uh, place to get apps. Keep in mind this is a beta, so the app does have definitely some hiccup at times, as well as it uh, lags a little bit. So if you're a person that really can't stand any of that, you should wait till the final release. Um, for the watch faces themselves, uh, there's definitely a lot here. Uh, is there redundancy? Yes. There, there is uh, definitely a lot of redundancy. You see uh, very similar looking ones at times. Um, and. Uh, definitely just certain uh, tweaks uh, added to it. Say, for instance, uh, different car ones or different football team ones. So yes, you do see some, some redundancies. I think that no matter what, though, you'll find a face that you like in the end, which is really nice. Now, uh, when you click on the app itself, um, you can simply click Add, see how many people liked it, and see if the app is available for both Android and iOS, which pretty much all of them are or at least all of them will be available for Android, rather. Um, when it goes to apps, you're going to have a lot of the same kind of stuff uh, from before. Um, I haven't seen anything that's groundbreaking except things like something like Capture, with the exception of uh, Foursquare, uh, Yelp, and ESPN. Uh, I think these are some of the newer ideas that have come in that were uh, really nicely done, very nicely executed. Uh, definitely like the fact that I can check out my sports teams. I find the check-in on Foursquare to be very t uh, much uh, just drowned out. You, you should be able to check in much quicker. Uh, it just takes too long. And I feel this is uh, a, a one of the weaknesses of Pebble for the fact that uh, because of the buttons instead of the touchscreen that I definitely got used to. Now with the Pebble itself, Obviously, one of the good parts about this model compared even to the Steel that's $100 more for some reason is the fact that you can change out the bands uh, to kind of look like the Steel. Uh, definitely, I feel that that's a much better way than spending $100 extra dollars for a little bit more storage and a little bit of, of a design tweak. Um, it just stands out more. And the fact that you can't have t more than 10 apps on here has never bothered me. I don't plan on having more 10 apps um, or 10 watch faces on a watch. Uh, it just seems well. This is one of the biggest ones that I've really liked, and that is the fact that I can see the calories um, that I burn and um, something that I've grown accustomed to with other fitness and uh, smartwatches. I also, of course, like things like the nostalgia of like having a Metal Gear Solid uh, clock, which is very cool to me. And, of course, you have the new fancier clocks from uh, Pebble that have recently been released and the traditional ones. So... Overall, does this mean you should go out and buy a Pebble now? Um, no. I do feel this is a step in the right direction. And because of this, I'm more looking forward to a Pebble 2 than the Pebble Steel. I don't believe this uh, should make you go out and get a Pebble necessarily, simply for the fact that compared to other smartwatches, there's still some things lacking, uh, mainly calling features. I, I really want to see more done with calling and texting. I feel that that's the most important features that a smartwatch should have. Um, if I can't pick up a call, I can just see who's calling, and that's kind of frustrating. As well as maybe the ability to respond quickly to messages in a good manner. This does have some things that allow you to do it, but they're just definitely not at the level that um, I feel that they could be, um, and the simple interface that it could be. So uh, for that purpose, that I feel that there is some uh, availability room, especially, again, in the calling and text messaging feature, which I do believe that Pebble would do with a Pebble 2 rather, again, than a Pebble Steel. Uh, so for this purpose, um, I definitely, again, feel this is a step in the right direction. I love that everything's more organized now. It just definitely seems like it's a better job 
uh, compared to what we saw last year when Pebble was simply a Kickstarter. So uh, definitely it's gr come a long way and I can't wait to see what comes out next. In terms of does this make me want to buy Pebble now? No. Um, I, I just feel that I've played around with too many other smartwatches that have calling capability or other smartwatches that are coming out such as the Hot Watch that has these similar capabilities as well as a lot of extras that are going to be available. So for that purpose, um, I really do like the Pebble 2.0. It's really great and a good thing that you should get for Android uh, devices as well as iOS devices. Overall, does it make me want to get a Pebble right now? No. Um, I'd rather wait for a Pebble 2.0 where I get more features than the ones we have at this moment. All right. Hopefully you like this review. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, The Android Guy.